So through the years of turmoil when Uganda was going through a lot of war, how did you as a businessman cope up through all those years of damage and destruction? Uh, let me tell you, it was a very dangerous, was, was it was a very bad situation. I lost most of my, I lost most of my friends because of the jealousies, killings. Because, for example, when I had the biggest shop which I mentioned to you, I've been detained for six months at Naguru. I lost everything and went to next exile. Those who have never been have that chances to serve, they never survived. Mm -hmm. So, Tamos, then we had the big rootings. Somebody has been have the shops, they rooted you. It becomes then empty. You, you can become empty. Then, if you don't have a very good customers, all the suppliers, then you're lost. I have an exp experience, I had exp uh, a good chance. They, lot, uh, they rooted my shops, they rooted my uh, supermarket, but because I had a very good suppliers, they eventually they give it to me another money, mm -hmm. then I get the money and then I pay them. Okay. Yes. So can you take us a little through the fashion of those days, like immediately after independence? Mm -hmm. How do you compare yeah, the two? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In a sheet, Nizigenda. Got to come out to single cells or go out the button. Nizigenda to come out three buttons. Mm. So, when we have a side, big end and we call it, they come out. Very good. So, no relation to you. Try any change or say Rachel, try in anger, but never never teenagers, Babangani Afros, Babangani Vidi Ninji. This was the fashion. So, because at that time, blood turns of Gain and Bunny grows. Black Americans. Americans. Then to get Doku Genokefuga, Abalinzabamo, Twadi Balbo Shenvid, Hot Comb, then to Akbang and Vidin Gazinangos or Botte. Brigid, very 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 Ninji, Ninga to the Kuba's upside yam. Twabanga no good, Kadizukumio. So we name it Vienda Vienda Vi, you can then you come out. Brigid, Kadu Fuka Bangi, Bassinga and Abawala. What is your kind of fashion? How yeah, do you my fashion is I'm executive. Mm -hmm. I'm executive, she is a conservative. We know I'm very decent. Some sources, uh, so it is always to Ninga Dala, she is a gentleman. Or look back on Katambala, or Tambul or Snake a pain. So those are fashion, those are conservative. So the Nino conservative, Sichachu, such fashion is that. So you've been quiet for quite a while. Even when I was coming here, some of my friends were like, so. Is Al Haj actually still there and doing business? Mm. So we would like you to tell the people out there what kind of businesses are you into right now? I had a chance because I've been uh, have uh, a knowledge. Mm. I'm no longer invested in Uganda. I'm invested in stock exchange, in bonds. So I'm not going to get a lot of money, but it's stable. See, uh, rather than come here, you find out the small boy. He just came from a career because because he's in URA. He came and disturbed you. He doesn't have experience. So I don't have that time. That's why I say that is let me invest somewhere where I could not be have the problem with these people and I'm feeling comfortable. That's what I'm doing. I'm doing. Okay. Yes. So would you say that now in Uganda you're not investing in anything? You're no, completely doing no, work no, abroad? No. Why would you say so? Why I'm saying that one? Because of until when Uganda becomes stable in financial concept. Mm. But it's no use to see that it's invested. Let me give it to you now. Mm. People, when they are here, say that is, let us invest in petrol. Mm. You'll find everybody is building petrol. Now, with a, a malls, 75% malls are empty. Mm. But everybody invests in that. And the money which they're putting there, if they've been put in somewhere, because the problem Uganda has, mm. we don't have what you call capital base. Okay. Capital base says that we don't have money, enough money which they can borrow mm. from it. But other side, because mm. of they've got the capital base, mm. it is easier to do your business. You go, you negotiate it within 30 minutes. Once they see that the approval, you'll get your money. And the business, you don't get much as you can get it from here, but you're safe. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. So that's why I say that is uh, some of us who have got a knowledge now, you'll find any Ugandan, he go, he bought a land, mm -hmm. say for two million US dollars. Mm -hmm. And then he put a building for another three million. That is five million. But when he sees what he returns, he's going to get maybe five, about only 500,000 a month mm -hmm. because 75% it is empty. If that person, he put that money, say five million dollars, he go to Europe or America, they give the property over 50 million and the income which you will get because of the capital base is very, very good. But when you talk, talk to Ugandans here, mm. you say that I think I would advise to do this. Say, no, no, this person they are going to steal my money. So now this is different. And we had a chance, some of us who have been traveling, we had a chance that we see that is we're more invested in our side rather than invested in the side. Okay. Yes. So over time, there's been a rise of supermarkets and you as one of the sole people that actually started supermarkets here yes. in Uganda, yes. what is your take? Because these days, even someone will have a small shop Yes. as small as, I don't know, 100 centimeters, yes. and they'll make it a supermarket. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying to you. Because here they don't have the uh, business guidance. We are coping. Somebody has got started a supermarket, they started. For, for this, I'm telling you the truth. When I start my supermarket, I get a good money because I get a monopoly. So when I look at this Dickie and Harry's coming at the supermarket, then I left. That's why I see that is, I'm now, I'm investing somewhere where I think that I'm comfortable. Rather than because there they have the capital base. For instance, if I've got one million dollar, I go to the bank, they give me ten million dollar. And then the terms are very good. The interest rate is only three percent. Here is at twenty-eight. You cannot compete. That's why I see that is I'm feeling bad. If I see my Ugandan fellow Ugandans, they are competing with the Chinese. They cannot. They are going to fail. Because the Chinese they give them the credit on the three percent. They give the, that, that whatever they are importing for, uh, for 90 days or 120 days. Ugandans get from here $20,000. dollars he go to China. He get the money from the bank, 28%. Then he need 10% to get the profit. When the Chinese, whatever they put his things, he sell for maybe 7%. He can sell and then get the profit. Automatically, Ugandans, unless we change the system, say that whatever somebody wants to invest here, let have a joint venture with the Ugandans so that they get that Ugandan had at least a chance to get the small value of the, uh, uh, of, the uh, of the interest. But if they do not that, they know if they don't do that, I think Ugandan will be Okay. Yes. Many big supermarkets in Uganda have closed, like Uchumi yes. and Nakumut. Yeah, yeah. Yes. The 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 then to the Gano government quality, with the supermarkets of surviving. Supermarkets are surviving for supply. Abantu are going to be able to get the money. They are going to be able to get the money. They are going to be able to get the money. They are going to be able to get the money. They are going to be able to get the money. They are to be able to get the money. They are going to be able to get the money. They are going to be able to get the so, Chendo was anti Paralero, Vachochum Yagalao, Nenda Zijaku Galao, Ransongeria Monti, Ugandans, the two in a purchasing power. Okay. Yes. So, tell us about the experience of you having to be one of the first few Ugandans yes. to own a car and a very good car. That yes. Can you tell us about it? You desire. Chengam of Boyagali Shint. Nazara Makat Mulimak Smali Muni Morok. Nagan Mdari Corporation. Nagain of government if not driving permit, Nagain of Kodjawang, Nemokolim is Mokaga Tansa Sura, so look for not driving permit. So Nagam and Hininoxo Kerako, Gula Motor Gula Modok, Yoka and Infina Sente, Nagula Modok. So Katish design is your guau, Nindo Nimanyati, with Moroka, Rumu was to call it a day or so like Chifuna. Very good. Nizaka Nyumba, Ningaman to Bindivan Kuze, Yalova Nyumba, Nabana Nyumba Yangi, Nagula Nyumba Yangi, the name Yaka Vimusat. So, tell us about that car. What brand was it? What brand kind of engine did it have? Because uh, I was in the 240Z. 240Z, I was in the 240Z. I was in the 240Z. 
Ne cylinders. cylinder I think in a force in eight cylinders, I am manning you. So no relation to Gekoya Gaza, Nunji, Gumvuka is value for money. Okay. Yes. So at that time, I imagine not many people had cars in yes. Uganda. Yes. In the first place, where did you purchase this car from? But in Morocco, you go to the first quarter of America, you go to the New York, you go to the New York, you America, and I Basara <laughs> Yes. So what kind of cars did we have in Uganda like in the 1970s after independence? What kind of cars were on the streets like today? I would say we have Premios, we have Mark IIs. Mm. So in that time, what type of cars were actually? <laughs> Never, never, never. Then, campaign, Yabajapani, Okay. Yes. So how would you compare the cars of that time to the cars that we have on the market today? Uh, car, car at that time, they have been very, very strong. But mm. nowadays, they build the car by save, save the purpose. You could find out one mark of type of car. Mm. Mm. They've got four engines, but they're different names. Estate, salon, mm. pickup. But they have got the same engine, mm. so this was a different. And today, when you look at the fiber, how they use it, they are very, very light. So that's to say that is they call the name serve the purpose. The cars are there. You want the car, very good, comfortable, but not durable. That's the kind of the car we have now. Okay. Yeah, but I don't blame them because this is a trend. People they try to make sure that uh, they make it cheaper. And here people, they are, they are not yet durable, but they are here for the business. So that's why I say that we've got in one car, you could get about four engines okay. in, different, in different shape. Yes. Thank you so much for the insight thank and uh, sharing time with us here thank on uh, Legit Hustlers. Well, I wouldn't want to water down all the views of the business veteran right here. <laughs> he has said it well. For business to move, you just have to have the passion. You have to do what you do with what you want, as in you choose out what you exactly want. Not because everyone has a supermarket that you will say, well, I should set up a supermarket. No, you actually do something because you know you will actually bring out something out of it. Well, that was it for Legit Hustlers this evening. Catch us again next week. Brenda Kimbabazi is my name. Legit Hustler ends here today, but be sure to catch us again tomorrow on Sunday at exactly 8 p.m. as we continue to bring you Alhaj Nasan Tege Sebagala on his life, business, and how he has managed to keep it up right from the 1960s to date.